Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. The Calamity Edition. Albeit without Scott, we're going to go ahead and go in a different direction. We'll explain that in just a moment. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If you return, wow, uh, I bet against you, but thanks. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us about d d join our Discord. If you want to buy stuff like this, or like this, or like that, or whatever, hit our shop. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on Tuesday, the talk show, or on every other Saturday like next week, uh, and play in a one-shot, hit us up, mhobo, Inc., Twitter, or Gmail. We'll go ahead and uh, see what we can do for you, get you on the show. Give you about two hours worth of fun times. Uh, shout out to our sponsors. Thank you very much for your Pirate Dog Dice. Again, this is more or less a one shot, but I'm not going to use Big Red. If you want uh, custom made dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter, hit them up. They will go ahead and take care of you. And if your game stinks, like this one is certain to, uh, Adventure Sense by OddFishGames.com. Mm, I don't have any jungle scent tonight, uh, which is where they're going to be. But if your game does stink, pick up some adventure scents, make it smell a whole lot better. And if you want to write, uh, check out their shine system. Folks, as I said, this is the Calamity Campaign. Welcome aboard. Uh, normally, we would be consistent, uh, but because we're minus one regular, we're going to go ahead and do a different section in the world of Calamity. Uh, joining us, uh, as always, with the Calamity Campaign, we'll start at the bottom this time. Jesse, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, hello, I am Jesse. Uh, I will be playing uh, Coda, the uh, Dwarven Cleric. Yep. Excellent. Uh, sorry, just doing a little housekeeping there. Uh, next up, Rob. Rob, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Rob. I'm a regular on the Calamity campaign and a frequent visitor on the One Shots recently. <clears throat> um, I play Dave on Calamity. Uh, you can find me at Cthulhu Rob on the things. And tonight I'm playing Ba Cup. And because he's a cleric, he goes by Brother Cup. Ba's his family name. Wow. <laughs> Please tell me you worship the god of athletic. Not even. Uh, <laughs> uh, next up is David. David, who, hey. who are you playing? Uh, I am David. I am uh, usually on the Calamity campaign. <laughs> tonight, I'll be in this part of the campaign. I play Ingbe in our regular game. Uh, tonight, I will be playing Crow. He is basically um, half uh, wood elf, half half elf, and uh, he's the town Fletcher. So that's my calam uh, Calamity character for tonight. So. Very nice. Last but certainly not least, normally behind the computer, uh, doing the production uh, tonight. She is also doing that as well as playing Carrie, my wife. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I am playing Crendor Sue, uh, a not very attractive barbarian. No charisma. Um, so we'll see how that works out. And you are a Vax, are you not? You have the uh, yes, I have ritual that. scarification Klingon. Uh, oh. Folks, uh, in lieu of the regular Calamity campaign, these guys are in Toad Town. Uh, it is a jungle-based area with a murky river running through it. It is part of the Opex Swamp. Uh, it is known for torrential rain, unclean water, and a complete lack of piglets because we had to roll off in green room on that. So this place is... Uh, fourth world dump is what it is uh and these guys are making the best of it uh crow brother cup and brother coda have all lived here their entire lives uh that is their claim to fame a group called the vax v-a-x came to town about a month ago and went ahead and asked if they could reside within the friendly confines of Wrigley Field uh, and were granted access by the village elders. They were given a, for lack of a better term, shitty piece of land uh, to go ahead and build things on. Uh, unbeknownst to the members of Toad Town, the Vax have construction skills and they also understand plumbing. So they've created a series of runoffs uh, using bamboo piping and have made their little plot of land habitable 
They live in a beehive fort, for lack of a better term. Uh, and everything has been groovy the last month. However, the normal folks of the Murga River colony have noticed the Vax have been building a shrine to their deity, which is not the deity normally held in high esteem by the Murga people, including Brother Cup and Brother Coda, who are, of course, clerics of this religion. This has been causing not quite friction yet, but a concern among the village elders. Cup, Coda, and Crow, the village elders have called you in and have asked a favor. They want you to cross the river, which is no difficult feat, uh, as there are two bridges in town. Uh, and they want you to just keep an eye on the Vax people. Now, you guys have not had any problems with the Vax. The Vax have been quite helpful, quite friendly, quite courteous, quite trustworthy, quite reverent. They're damn near Boy Scouts, is what I'm saying. Uh, and they have not caused any issues. Uh, in order to cross over the river, there is a three tree felled bridge or a two tree felled bridge. The two tree felled bridge is normally where people fish off of. So gentlemen, as you go ahead and head across the river, which bridge would you like to take? Three timber? Free timber, I guess. Everybody give me a dex check there, uh, Coda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. E. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a plus zero. That's a six. <laughs> nice. Uh, 24 for Crow. Cup, I think you're muted. 13. Okay. Uh, good news. Cup and Crow, uh, as you cross over, uh, yes, he is. Uh, as you cross over, the dwarf of the party makes a loud splash as he oh. sl slips on a slick spot and he goes into the river. Uh, you can see just Not the again. top of his head uh, as it is about that deep for a dwarf. What are you, four, four and a half? Uh, he's just barely he says he's five feet on a good day oh okay. so you see his forehead sticking out being only slightly taller than that myself i completely understand and this has happened before so i have my rope tied with a loop on one end already i'll pull it off my belt and toss the line down around his head <laughs> uh hit him <laughs> let's see if you make a noose <laughs> 19 oh straight right, roll good. yeah coda uh, he throws it to you right next to you. You can grab it. And he can haul you up. Oh, fuck all, mate. It's a wicked piss I fell in there. It's a fine and glorious day for a swim, though, isn't it, Brother Coda? Every day is a good day for a swim, eh? That's right. Catch any uh, fish while you're in there? Nope. Just None. drowning. Hey, you later. Coda, how about you d12 <laughs> against me? Let's see if you caught anything. Okay. And, uh, yes, you have a crab sticking off your uh, holy vestments. Uh, looks like we're having crab tonight. Sounds lovely. Or uh, as they say, get to in the other Indiana, side, I'll check you for leeches. Crawfish. <laughs> right. Save it for the pot. Yeah. Uh, uh, we get to the other side, I'll check you for leeches. I think Brother Cup has an unusual fascination with your body but that's okay uh, if you want to let him check your body out for uh nippers go ahead doesn't matter to me but you, you definitely got at least one crawdad as we say in the midwest uh nice. as you as you haul him up uh brother cup give me a straight strength roll make sure you don't get pitched forward uh, that's an 18 plus 220 piece of cake like a human crane he lifts you up up and out uh deposit not like it's the first time well, that's true. Uh, you get to the other side, you see a very large structure, which you know is a general meeting place uh, for the village. It's also where uh, things like tobacco, fruit, uh, tanners work is kept. Over to the left side of the road uh, is the Vax settlement. 
It includes the beehive uh, fort, uh, a few sparse bushes, uh, the drainage tubes, and the outline of a rectangular building that you have been told is a shrine to their deity, a god of war. Ooh. That's ominous. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking good. So you three wander by, you see uh, Murga farmers, Murga fishermen. Oi, 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 oi. Everybody good day. you. Good day. Good day. Beautiful day for it. <laughs> Bye day. <laughs> uh, Bye day. Do, do you guys want to head to the future shrine or the homestead? Let's head to the homestead. I guess we'll go there first. Okay. Uh, as you reach there, everybody, give me an insight check as to what you are looking at. Oh yes, that one's going to be really good. Um. 11 for Crow. <laughs> Cup doesn't see shit. Huh? I'm pretty sure I saw a bird flying over. It was white, but I think it had a blue tail feather. I'm not certain. 18. Could it be an omen? Uh, Crow and Coda, you notice that a uh, member of the Vax community, uh, odd male, female, uh, a male is teaching the youth of the Vax, and he seems to be instructing them on some kind of rudimentary survival skills on how to make a fire using wet lumber. Would you guys like to sit in on the educational moment or just pass on by? Yeah, I'll sit in. Yeah. It's always yeah. good to learn. Yeah, of course. Everybody take plus one to your survival rolls. Oh, nice. Now and in the future. You don't... I don't want you to change your ability score, your base ability score. Just give yourself plus one on survival. Okay. Uh, you guys sit through about an hour of this, and uh, it, it's quite good. However, now the instructor tells the youth, which are far younger than you, to go ahead and demonstrate what he has just taught. And he asks the three of you uh, to go ahead and also show <laughs> so straight up d20 roll let's see if you've learned shit win and ba as they say yeah okay 16 S six mm -hmm. 12 <laughs> uh coda the instructor asks if the lesson plan was too far over your head to understand that uh, uh, everybody, everybody chuckles. <laughs> not really. I just prefer the forge. So most of the time, I, I carry a tinder box. It's much easier that way. <laughs> <laughs> Do the flex off. Uh, <laughs> Crow and Cup, the plus one survival instincts will stay with you. Coda, the plus one will stick with you probably. Uh, <laughs> as class ends, he tells the youth who, let's see how they did. First nat 20 of the night, boys and girls, the kids know how to do that bullshit. So they are all squared away, all set. They get to go off and have recess. The instructor asks, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Uh, Coda, uh, he asks you if you would like for him to go over it one more time, one-on-one, -on -one, so that you can go ahead and grasp the basic principles. Of course, I love learning. Come on, let's try it again. D20. <laughs> nice. Ah, 17. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, you missed a part. Now you oh. understand. It. So, survival plus one will go ahead and carry over. Uh, he congratulates you on your ability to take a joke and says, well done. Congratulations. Uh, he must now excuse himself as he has to go assist with the construction of the structure. What structure? Oh, uh, we are creating a uh, shrine of worship for our god, Skad, the beautiful. Oh, yeah. What's Skad do? Uh, Skad is the god of war and honor. Ah, you guys oh, are Honor. Oh, honor is good. Yeah. You guys like to fight a lot? A lot of punching and kicking? We don't like to fight. <laughs> we only fight if we must. Well... I mean, just because, you know, people are weird, 
That's What's kind of like cool. a must? Yeah. Uh, I mean, because like sometimes I've seen, uh, like, for instance, back in our hometown, we saw somebody say, uh, you know, he called the other person a dumbass, and then they threw a horseshoe at his face, and then they commenced to warring each other. Is that a must, or is that like, that's just petty squabbles? Well, where we come from, uh, we have a thing called slavers uh, that maraud the land steal our women and children and our elderly and put them into use in their minds. Uh, sadly, uh, their numbers were too great for us and that is why we moved on. All we ah, seek is peace. So why not move to a peace god? That'd be smart. Scat is who we worship. All right. That's good. Would you care to help? Possibly learn construction skills? Oh, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> Come on over. I will have one of our trainers go ahead and instruct you on the fine uh, art of building walls. He walks you over to a human female with ritual scarring on her forehead. Uh, you don't consider her that attractive. Uh, and she looks rather large and rather mean. She has a battle axe strapped to her back and she is directing a team of builders uh gentlemen introducing krendor sue uh the instructor turns you over to this woman and says uh, they are interested in how to build things so i thought i would leave them for you uh krendor give me a d20 yeah Come on, uh, all those. I don't have a 20 in here. <laughs> and you make the dice. I know. Right. You got a big black and white. <laughs> three. <laughs> you, are, you are not thrilled with having three neophytes as you ask them what their abilities are. None of them appear to have the ability uh, to fit in with construction. Mm -hmm. uh, so you give out a big sigh and you begin to explain the basics of structural settings for them. Uh, gentlemen, Crendor shows you a stack of bamboo and she tells you it needs to be moved from point A to point B and then laid out uh, in a horizontal line so that they can be lashed together. Uh, with the three, you can tell she's not thrilled to have to deal with you, but <laughs> those are the instructions she has given you. Okay. All right. Straight so, up D20, boys. Let's see so if you spill. Horizontal. All right. That's good. 14. Oh. 17. Crow drops his stack. Uh, the other two manage to go ahead and get it ready. Crendor, give me a D20. Four. She is going to light up Crow. Oh. But... <laughs> A scream is heard from the river behind you guys. Oh. Someone so, needs aid. Do you think I'll charge aid? off that way. Wait, cut. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cup takes off. What do the other three do? I'll grab my battle axe and run. Yeah. I was about to I'll say, just... we'll have this conversation later. Yeah. <laughs> Follow Cup. Uh, all four of you go there. It appears as though, uh, oh, maybe if I move down to the right section, that would probably be helpful. I know what it is, but I don't know how I wrote it. Uh, as you speak with the uh, newcomer female, a shriek is heard from the river. The sound of a mother screaming quickly follows, and it is clear that trouble is brewing. As you guys run the short distance uh, to the muddy edge of the river, uh, you notice on the far side, uh, a small child has found a crocodile and is attempting to evade it. The small child is about 10 uh, and doing its best dance to try and escape the snapping jaws of the Florida Gators. Uh, I shall load my crossbow and distract that crocodile. Oh, here's where the kid dies. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Uh, everybody if rolls an initiative. All right. 
Wow. Oh, hey. That's good. I'm going to be taking a while Nine. loading that crossbow. Eighteen. Sevens. <laughs> Four. I have uh, zero bonus to initiative, and I got the highest. <laughs> Eight, Eighteen is a winner. Yeah. Coda, as you come up to the edge of the river, all four of you realize this is an easy ground capable of mudslides. You have your choice. You can dive in a la Tarzan or run to that bridge that you had so much ease in crossing over. And the girls in the water, right? Girls in the water, it looks like they were doing uh, longer or something. Gotcha. I'll, uh, I'll dive into the river. Give me a D20. Second. Make sure you don't hit the sandbar. <laughs> Second splash or in the water. Talking about. 12. Oh, easy. Uh, for as much okay. as a dwarf can look skilled. I look uh, like a fucking Baywatch lifeguard. <laughs> he dives in, creates a big wake. Uh, next round, you will attack last, but you will be in melee uh, okay. distance. Uh, that leads us to number nine, Crendor Sue. Uh, you're up. Same option. Uh, I want to throw my javelin at it. Sure. Go ahead. Let's pick different dice for this. There's where the kid dies, That's and a... there's an international incident. And I laugh. Yeah. <laughs> we At go least it more. wasn't us. <laughs> 16. Oh, 16 is good enough to hit the crocodile. Okay. Right in the meaty shanks. 1d6 plus 3. 9. Ooh. Uh, yeah, definitely in the meaty shanks. Uh, next up is the seven, Crow. Uh, Crow's going to take a knee, pull back on his short bow, and fire for the crocodile. Shoots Coda in the ass. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, fuck! Ah! 16. <laughs> 16 does hit. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh Seven points. Since I am a rogue, can I take the sneak attack since the crack didn't see it coming? No, because it's partially underwater. Uh, I, I did consider that. Okay. Uh, tied in last is the crocodile and brother cup. What you want to do? I want to shoot it with my crossbow. Sure. When you say it, do you mean the child, the mother, or Coda? Yeah, I gotta be well, specific. I, I wanted man. to shoot the crocodile, but that's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to a three total. One, <clears throat> one two is the child, it and hit. it will it will most certainly cause a lot of problems. Three, four is mom. Five, six is Coda. <laughs> so Please, roll Please roll a sec. I'm praying one. for Coda, but. You killed the kid, didn't you? I haven't rolled it. Oh, I'm there six. it is. Murder hobo. Yeah, D6. Six. Uh, Coda shot in the ass. Oi, fuck, come on! <laughs> Honestly, this uh, is really one point of damage. Ah. I rolled I rolled the damage at the same time, so at least it's minimal damage. I was about to say, he grazed him. <laughs> just... It was a pair of ones, a one on the 20 and a one on the 8. It just... it, you know, as, as I told you guys before, uh, disease due to unclean water is pretty much the biggest problem. Uh, the crocodile oh. snaps at the kid. Oh. Three misses the child yet again. Uh... You know what? Uh, now, nah, screw it. We'll stick with it. Uh, round two. Uh, Coda, you got the 18. Uh, I'm going to say you got the extra push with the arrow. I will let you attack at disadvantage now that you don't know who your friends are. <laughs> I'm pretty it. sure it was Crendor Sue that yeah. shot you, though. I come out with fuck? my Warhammer. Like, <laughs> boy, take this, you fucker. Uh, 19. <laughs> 19 hits. Okay. I'm pretty sure Brother Coda made the quarrels for my crossbow, so he probably knows exactly who shot him. Uh, that's 12 points of bludgeoning damage as I... Oi, take this, fucker! Crack! Uh, you... Crikey, you cracked its skull, because that puts it at 28 hit points down, uh, and it uh, sinks below the waves and then rises up 
white belly showing, unmoving, uh, the child scampers out of the water to a loving embrace by mom. Uh, you Winter. yank out the coral out of your ass and turn around and glare at Brother Cup, recognizing your handiwork. And you Cup. may, you, you may want to consider. Baka. <laughs> you may want to consider not. Doing Hi, brother. <laughs> Cheeky is right. <laughs> you hit me square in my ass. I grab the. I kind of start hauling the crocodile with me, like splashing and pulling the crocodile. <laughs> no, I'll like, never let you die, though. I can save myself, you silly bastard. If he can get to you, uh, Coda and the alligator are now on the far side. You guys want to <sighs> Doggy jump paddle. into the water, or do you want to go over to the bridge? I'll help him drag the crocodile. Yeah, I'll help him try, try I want to get... some a belt or something out of this bullshit. Well, do you want to go uh, in the I'm water? I'm guessing or we can have crab and crocodile. <laughs> do I want to what? Go into the water or over the bridge? I'll go into the water. Okay. Uh, D20, make sure you don't hit the sandbar. Twelve. Okay. Uh, Crow and uh, Cup, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll stay on the bridge and look out for other crocodiles. <laughs> Yeah, I'm oh. going to keep looking out for the crocodiles as well, because I'm sure they're there. Okay, well, uh, you guys had no problem crossing the bridge last time. Let's see if your luck holds. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a 10. I also have no dexterity adjustment, so. Crow? Nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> you both make it over there. Uh, Krendor and Koda have beached uh, the creature. And it looks like uh, there's there's enough for boots and a belt. Uh, it's a good sized crocodile. But you know, friend crow, you don't have to dance across the bridge. <laughs> oh, I'm not to, trying to show you up. <laughs> who wants to try and skin this thing? Me, me, me. Go what? ahead, Crendor. Give me a uh, animal handling. This is your peoples, so you get plus 16. two to animal. Yep. 16 is what you need. Uh, you have successfully skinned the pelt. Not only is Crendor good at construction, she is good at skinning people. Uh, her last name is Moyle, so that should tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> Crendor Sue Moyle. I do turn around and tell Coda for a short guy, you're not too bad. Thanks for helping out. Well, you know, it's, it's always sad to see people die out here. There's no reason for that, especially when it's just crooks. Uh, Krendor, the uh, Marga people, or Murga people, take a look at you and, oh, you know, oh, that's helpful. Oh. You know, I think she killed that thing single handedly. But I no, think she no, also no. shot Coda in the ass. So, <laughs> so there, there is a certain amount of discussion on that point. Coda. No, no, uh, I shot Coda in the ass. Fair that's enough. That's right. I cracked the fucking thing's skull. The, That's the, for sure. The village elders nearby. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, good news is uh, you guys have uh, some alligator skin, and you also have some alligator meat that should uh, should make a nice luau tonight. Oh yeah. We're either like in we Vietnam or Hawaii. I'm not sure which. Tucker. So. Uh, Prize goes to Coda for cracking its skull. Unfortunately, you cannot use its skull for anything else, but uh, if you like, you can pull teeth. I will pull teeth. Oh, there you go. Where is Kyle when you need him? <laughs> uh, so the four of you uh, have formed uh, a natural bond. You guys came together uh, to do this. Uh, the village elders over on the murder side Oh, celebration must be held for saving our our child, who will probably die next week because she drinks dirty water. Uh, so they are going to have a luau pit uh, and serve the crocodile with the permission of Coda, who got the killing blow. <clears throat> so Coda is that cool? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 Good day. Correct. Krendor, you may stay with the Murga people or return to your own people. I'll stay with the Murga people and say, eh, Cody, you better get that ass looked at because that water is not real clean. It's all right. 
I've lived here my whole life. You know, oh. you shot me ass. What's well, a little sepsis between friends? Exactly. It's fine. Did you ever see uh, the land, uh, land of the lost, with Will Ferrell? Yeah. When the bug stung him, that's a dress. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> uh, the luau is served. Everybody, go ahead and give me a con check. Not save. See how you like the crocodile. Fourteen. It's okay. I'm Seven. <clears throat> Not so much. Fifteen. Good. Uh, Thirteen. Okay. So you know, yeah. Uh, Coda, you probably got an undercooked piece. It was a uh, crocodile. Tough. Also, you really couldn't sit down to enjoy your food because you got an injury. <laughs> uh, but other than that, uh, you guys get to know each other. You learn that Kendor Sue uh, eh, seems like a stand-up chick. I mean, you know, uh, she gives you a little clue on what they're doing over there. Uh, they are not intruding upon your lands. Uh, and offers to go ahead and take a look at any uh, buildings over here that might be deficient. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. I mean, never hurts to check. After examining the buildings, Crendor, uh, you notice that you need Ty Pennington and his entire team. Oh. This place is a shithole. <laughs> you guys even have running water? <laughs> Jesus. It's, it's, it's the river runs. here. It's the river. The, the river, the river runs. It's nice. No, yeah. no, it's not. I've got, a, I've got a trench that comes around the back of the hut where I can throw my waist. It runs into the river. <laughs> you all are English, aren't you? <laughs> uh, this is where smallpox I mean, comes nope. from. <laughs> exactly. Any better heard of a of, a, of an English? <laughs> we seen rats the around here. Years ago. Appar apparently, we have no enemy. rats. No frogs. Rats won't live here. Too damn. Black swelling under the armpits. I don't know. Oh no, not for years. Three, <laughs> oh. four years. Apparently, we haven't heard of dysentery either. So, uh, he moved out. He did not. Flux. Like it. <laughs> Flux. Uh, you know, so, everybody gets it once in a while. <laughs> so, Crendor points out uh, glaring deficiencies in your constructural ingenuity, uh, but says that the Vax people will be more than happy to go ahead and assist. Uh, she notices the erosion pattern on the side of the creek, which you guys have not seemed to have noticed at all. Uh, and it seems as though, again, she is a stand-up chick, and uh, these Vax people aren't so bad, even though Cup and Coda will have an issue with this scad individual. Uh, Cup it's and not Coda. As from a monotheistic religion. Come on. Uh, would you guys like to discuss your religious views with Crendor Sue, or just call it a night? Well, yeah. well I, we I, have a, I have a few questions. <laughs> I mean... You know, I, I, I was, and I think that Cheskin too would be fond of dry floors. They were, they were amazing. And, and, and the, the main question I have is: Does, does, does your God require all people to worship Him? You don't have to. You get to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and who wouldn't want to? He's gorgeous. Well. I wouldn't know if he's gorgeous or not, having not seen him. So I can't answer that. Oh, let me Cheskin tell you. is wondrous. Mm. She's quite bountiful. She's mm. kind and merciful, and she brings the spring crops. I quite like her. That erosion, very well. Our God strikes down our enemies in their boots, and then shits down their necks after they rip their head off. Oh God! It looks like Robert Loja. Yeah, <laughs> this is very rough. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can see where that would be effective. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's dysentery right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so as the night winds down, you guys, or uh, uh, Cody, did you have any other questions for Crendor? No, huh? Crow, did you have any for the outsider? Uh. No, no, I'm just listening intently. Uh, you know, uh, Crow's quasi religious, you know, so, you know, so non, non practicing. Like, How's your ass before you go to bed? Is your ass okay? <laughs> I mean, I still got two cheeks. I got two holes now, so, you know, extra waste. You might have more in the morning. 
That's <laughs> fine, you know. I, I just find it unusual that Brother Cup volunteered to check you for uh, lamprey attacks uh, or leeches, <laughs> you know, uh, and, and then shot you in the ass. Right? You know? Well. Brothers. If he's going to whine about it, I could break out my medicine kit and do something about it. No. When have you ever had me whine? I'm usually a very I happy person. That's, that's what I thought. It seems like the like Crendor Sue is is bringing it up a lot. So, I just want to make sure his ass doesn't fall off when we're out. I do have a salve. It's it's all right. I've and got a needle myself. and thread. Look, alcohol. I've got plenty of healing and medicinal herbs at home. I'll be just fine. Smoke a little. All right. Rub it on me. I'll be fine. Edibles. Smoke a little no more. Yeah. <laughs> Crendor, Sue, you find Speaking out. Speaking of smoke. Crendor, you find out from uh, these individuals that uh, the crocodile attack, uh, while not frequent, is also not that uncommon. So you think nothing of it. Uh, it's one of the hazards of living next to the riverbank. Uh, what do you want to do with the pelt? Well, shouldn't it be Coda's pelt? Coda, what do you want to do with the pelt? Well, I mean, let's look at it as a, another gift between tribes and people. So, Krinda, I know you like this uh, uh, leathery stuff. I can work you a nice armor if you'd like. That would be awesome. All right, I'll work on it. You will have enough, you'll have enough left over for a belt. This is a good size. Are you going to make her bikini armor and just oh, be a misogynistic Lord. pig? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do a belt. I'll make I've it. I'll make a, uh, kind of like everywhere. a wide belt. Okay, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coda, Coda can go ahead and fashion that in a couple days. Not a big deal. As night falls, uh, I assume everybody heads off to their own domicile. Yeah, yeah I believe so. Uh, day two, the elders summon Crow, Cup, and Coda. Well, I dreamt of elders. dry floors. <laughs> well, uh, so completely dry floors. They like a war god, you know, somebody who smites the enemies and uh, shits down the throats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you don't have to worship him. Yeah, so they're not making us worship, but they're making their own temple to, I don't remember, a really pretty, pretty boy Completely God. dry floors. Yeah, it's... and they've got, they've got dry floors and running water. They've running... even got a place where their crap goes into a different area, not close by the home. <laughs> Have you ever thought of that? That's amazing. That's amazing. Hey, why would you do that? That's what makes that's what makes the vegetation grow. Sanitary. Well, have you ever thought? I mean, we could instead of putting it outside our house, we have a spot where we do take crap, and then we can actually, you know, funnel it into our crops. So that way, uh, with the irrigation, instead of crapping and then all of us having to move it, maybe a, a communal area, or maybe with the. Nice. I don't know. You can talk to Brother Cesspool about that. I'm not very Brothers. familiar with that option. Do you know how to do this? Can you accomplish this? Uh, I mean, we could talk Thank to him some more. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Super. Right. Go, go over. Is that the only thing you've learned? Oh, um, they worship a war god, and uh, they were yes, they, they they put on a good down feet. the neck, yeah. Uh, they used to be, uh, a lot of their people were slaves, apparently. Yeah. Some so, kind of slaver uh, somewhere, yeah. Yeah, so they ran back. They're here. It's peaceful. Well, hopefully they didn't bring the problems with them. Oh, no, it's it's coming. It's going to come. I mean, you don't leave a slaver village and then expect it to not come follow you. Cheskin knows all things come eventually. Do we do we think this is a problem for our community? Well, let's see. I can see the village across the river still, so probably in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, to mention our food stores are near their buildings. Well, te te technically, you guys still own that. You've just given them a plot of land. So. Mm. Their buildings. <laughs> Other yes. side of the river. No tax breaks. 
Mm. No tax breaks. No. Uh, yep. Crow, uh, do you have anything to add in the uh, informational packet? Uh, Crow? Uh, it just, um, they just seem to really have their shit together, <laughs> you know? So. And then they moved it right away <laughs> from their houses. Yes. That that in itself is amazing. Uh, they they seem to be very handy with building fortifications. So I will say there was a certain lack of odor about to let you know what was going on, but mm. overall, dry floors are very nice. I don't think I was much help to them, but I mean, I did learn quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, oh, also, uh, f fire from wet wood. Yes. No, that's not Which, possible. You know, it's, it's fucking possible. We did it. Who wants to show me? Oh, I'll do it. Okay, give me a I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be a one. Little fire by friction. Yeah. Oh, that's a 19. Look at that. Fuck a doodle do. That's amazing. And they taught you this? Yeah. And I used it last night. You know, my roof leaks, so I just built my fire this way. No worries about having to find dry wood. Yeah. So go back and learn how to do this dry floor thing. This intrigues me as well. By all means. I mean, all right. I so know when my grandmother slept in the hammock, her feet didn't rot. <laughs> <laughs> just her ass, like Oda's. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, well, you guys want to go back to the other side of the river? Hell yeah. Yeah. Three or two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three. Only three. Can I just go ahead and tie a rope around Coda before we go? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Everybody roll the D20. Just in case. Uh, Crow and Cup, you made it over twice. Uh, you can roll at advantage. Oh. I got a 12. You're fine. Yay. I got a 15. Uh, you're fine. Uh, 16. Thanks for advantage. You're fine. <laughs> All three of you make it over there. Same as before. You got the farmers bringing in stuff. You got the hunter-gatherers bringing in stuff. Uh, you have uh, another lesson plan uh, over there in the uh, educational facility. And then you have, uh, strangely, you have two completed walls already on the shrine made of tightly woven bamboo frames. It's fucking amazing. They're like worker bees or something. Mm -hmm. uh, you also notice... It's almost like they're making claws out of bamboo. <laughs> yep, you uh, see Crendor Sue uh, telling the individual she's responsible for, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and there is a long line of horizontal bamboo looks like uh wall three is about ready to go up hmm. boy it's amazing she uh sees you three and uh crendor what do you want to do you see these three nimrods coming back up to you we're here to help <laughs> oh they're Stay the deep. government <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on it's fema <laughs> yeah. it's steve time it's do, Steve. Do, do, do. Hi, Steve. Steve time. <laughs> All right, Steve. Oh, no. um, no way, Steve. Grindel, I wave Sue has to a them. dog named Steve. That's an odd name for a dog, don't you think? Steve, Everybody Nevada. Loves Steve. Everybody loves Steve. Uh, so Steve's Crow, back. Crow, Cup, and Coda. Apparently, uh, you guys are all tight with Crendor now because she hails you with all of her fingers, not just the one, uh, <laughs> and uh, asks if you guys are here to assist again. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. She'll, she'll look at Crow and point out, we've already collected the items, uh -huh. so we don't have to do that. I, I need, if you guys are here to help, I need you to go over. I need you to get the uh, thick fibers that we've pulled uh, from the various trees. It's like Palm Sunday, uh, only uh -huh. a little bit uh, thicker. Uh, you guys each grab a handful. She goes ahead and takes it and opposite weaves uh, it into a nice tight frame. Uh, you get about four or five bamboo shafts wow. tied together, and then you get them tied off. She shows you this. Uh, how many times do you want to show them, Crendor? Two. <laughs> 
everybody roll a d20 and add plus one to it because you've been shown and shown again. I have to re-roll that. Cock damn die. Natural uh, 20 14. plus one. 21. Crow was paying oh, attention yeah. this time. <laughs> 15 16. with the plus one. 16. All, th all three of you have caught on rather quickly. Uh, and Crendor, you are mildly surprised, uh, but noting that Crow is a Fletcher, uh, Coda is a blacksmith, and Cup is a transportational specialist. That one surprises you a little bit, but yeah, even he caught on. Guy. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so she asks if you want to complete the rest of this panel or start to work on the fourth one. Um, we can complete this one. Yeah, yeah, let's finish this one. Small move. Okay. Uh, it takes you a couple of hours to do it uh, because it has to be tightly bound so that the elements will not uh, come in. Uh, she inspects your work quite frequently. Some of the other Vax members. Uh, high intelligence score. Some of them have the long bamboo shafts, only they are thicker, and they are working on a trench. Uh, as you guys look at this, uh, give me perception checks while you work. And are they whistling? They are whistling. <laughs> They're whistling. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Okay, no, uh, 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 15. Uh, 14 as well. All three of you notice that these must be the plumbers because they are digging the trench, uh, angling it down, but at a very uh, low grade because, of course, the ground here is uneven. Uh, as you hear that, there is a commotion over by the bridges again. Jesus, there's always something going on in Toad Town. I go running towards the commotion. If I, cat, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Two are running. Actually, we are running. Crendor, yep. are you running? I'm running. It's at the two timber bridge. A fisherman is in the water and he is being attacked. Oh. All you see is bubbles around him, though. Is any part <clears throat> of him standing out from the water? Yes, he's uh, he's a little bit taller than Coda is, so he is about chest high in the water and ah, screaming. His fellow fishermen are on the pier, uh, dangling narrow pieces of string to him, saying, "Hang on!" Uh, I wade in with my mace. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, roll initiative. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh boy! Thirteen. Five. There we go. <laughs> Six. Wow. <laughs> Nine. He's uh, rolling Krendor, well. Crendor, what was yours? Crendor, what was yours? It was five. <laughs> 18 for me. Uh, you hear the man screaming, but very briefly. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> As he starts to gurgle on his own blood because these things. Huh, yeah, he, he's screaming still. He's not gurgling on his own <laughs> blood yet. But he, he is definitely hurting. Blood is pooling in the murky brown water. Uh, that takes us to 13. Brother Cup wading in with his mace. Uh, you can tell the closer you get that these are carnivorous fish, mm. a.k.a. quippers. Mm. That's not going to help much. Well, um, I can't really, can I see them? Oh, yeah. They're uh, attaching okay. themselves to jort the murga fisherman's body <laughs> okay well then have them make a dc 13 deck save or take 1d8 radiant damage uh no they fail then they take seven points of radiant damage chess can take you uh <laughs> nine crow you're up uh oh, <laughs> there's so many 
so yeah, I'm just trying to get a line to that guy to, to help pull him out of this mess. So I've got like the monkey paw with a, a line thrown it to him. So hit, hit him. it, hit it, <laughs> hit it. Uh, just straight up D twenty. Yep. Dexterity is your bottom oh. bar. Okay. Uh, Dex. You'll nice. Man. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sixteen. Yeah. Uh, that uh, that gets within range. Uh, he will try and reach for it. At 20, uh, number two of the night, he grabs a hold of it, screaming, pull me up, pull me up, pull me up, pull me up, pull me up. Uh, we move on to the, the six, Coda. Is he getting pulled up? Okay, sorry. Puppy puppy issues. Fill me in. I will uh, run over to where uh, Crow's pulling him, and I will help pull and yank him up. Well, Brother Cup has entered the water, used radiant damage on the creature's Crow and Coda are attempting to pull up the fisherman named Jort. Uh, we go to the five, which is Krendor Sue. You are a little bit slower today than you were. Uh, what would you like to do? Your choices are help pull the line with Crow and Coda or jump in with Brother Cup and kill off these small, bitey fish. Mm, I'm more of a... Mm, meaty, I'll help pull up. Okay, uh, Crow, Coda, Crendor, wow, say that three times fast, and, and Coda. Crow, Coda, Crendor, yeah. Crow, Coda, uh, Crendor, Crow, Coda, Crendor. Wow, uh, you three give me strength checks, please. One or a two gives you rope burn. Uh, no, 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 no. Nice. No, no, 16 again. 21. Yeah, I got six, uh, 19. Oh, easily. You jerk him out of the water, throwing him on the shore like a fish. Uh, Brother Cup, that leaves you, and it's my turn. <laughs> I'm attempting to back out of the water now that he's coming out, but I don't mind the attack that's coming my way. Uh, 16 plus 5, 21. Oh, that <laughs> hits me. Uh, oh, we've deprived you of one meal. You want another... Uh, you got really lucky. Uh, that is eight hit points of damage. Oh. Out of four d6. Ow! <laughs> four d6. <laughs> uh, that means Ow. it's your turn there, Cup. Uh, can I get out of the water now, please? Dex. Net Money. 20. Ah, damn it. You find, a root. <laughs> you find a root and climb up out of it. Uh, still with a dangler on your buttocks today. Uh, and it flips itself off as it starts to suffocate. Jort is saved and Jort punches the guy next to him. Because... Pushed him in. Yes, he pushed him in. His... Uh, yeah, I didn't give his, his friend a name, but Jork got pushed in as a joke and then got attacked by the Quippers. Wow. Uh, this raises some concern as uh, Cup, Crow, and Coda, uh, this is not natural. Uh, Oi, what did y'all bring with you? You've got anything strange in here, like something weird. Are you accusing my people? <laughs> Hit him with the axe! <laughs> <laughs> it's a little weird. I mean, it didn't happen until y'all got here. I'm just saying. I'm not accusing so much as... Did you subsequently bring a series of evil things with you? How would we bring these fucking away? things with us? They need to be in water. No. Alright, so... Crocs... Very rare. We have crocodiles all the time. But not attacking. Then the fish, super rare. We don't see them very often. So, either something's coming or something's here. Maybe your goddess has abandoned you. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Pardon me, but you're 
assumption is easily refuted as I burned them with her sacred flame. I mean, wouldn't it be more uh, saying that your <laughs> god is abandoning you as a, a god of war uh, lets a bunch of people get and enslaved and you got your shit kicked in, apparently. Oh. <laughs> Our I mean, god was the one that got us out of that problem. Well, so you think your god had you run a, away. If it's a war god, he'd have struck him like a, you know, ripped his, ripped the heads off and <laughs> shit down the throat. Shit down the necks. But he had yeah. them run away. Ow. Sorry. He's a god of retreating. <laughs> I got a puppy quipper here. Ah, <laughs> uh, evil puppy quippers. Land, Land quipper. quipper. <laughs> So there seems to be a nasty division here among the religious uh, foundation here. The elders from the Murga tribe uh, noticed that several members of the Vax are approaching, uh, oh. curious as to what is going on. Uh, who wants to D12 against me? Actually, I need you Krendor and one of you three to D12 against me. All right, me. I'll do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> my number is an eleven. I don't know. If so is mine. My number is yet seven. Uh, the members of the Murga tribe are not happy. The Vax leadership, including Krendor Sue's father, points out that perhaps an investigation upstream might yield better answers. Mm, Carl agrees. This is true. Fine. By right. Jeskin's law, all flows downstream. <clears throat> so, do you guys want to travel west and take a look? Yeah, uh, let's go. Yes. Now, the important thing: Do you want to travel on the Murga side or on the Vat side? Well, we lived here a long time. Which side of the river has a firmer hold to the west? Makes no difference. Let's travel the Vex side. Well, but wait. I mean, the Vex side is probably... There's probably not as much of it, right? Well, I mean, you have a small land holding. You have a couple of plots of land. Right. The river continues on into the jungle on either side. But wouldn't the murder people know the rest of it better than the Vax people? Nope, they just kind of hang out here, ignoring the world as it goes by. Uh, they don't even have dry floors for this. This is so. why they These people shit are where they live at. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it's convenient. It's right there. Now, they will know that yeah, other... Brilliant uh, at barbecue, though. Yeah, other isolated tribes inhabit the Murga Valley. So, or the Murga Delta, I'm sorry. Uh, so, you yeah. know. They don't well, well, know the, these, again. these three don't exactly know where they're at because these all four of you are new to adventuring. Clueless. Sure. You guys are all one saving throw away from being a secondary character. <laughs> <laughs> Let's flip a coin. Well, Coda says Vax, so flip a coin, odd uh, Murga, even Vax. I just yeah. wanted to go on the other side. I want to see what's on the other side. Probably drier. Yeah. I got even. That's what I'm going for. That's Vax. All right. Cool. Yep. I concede. Vax side it is. Uh, as you guys go down, uh, Krendor, your father, and several other members are leading the way. You four will be guarding the rear uh, as you walk about an hour uh, it's uh, mid-afternoon. Uh, you come to an area with bones. Mm. What kind of bones? Uh, it appears to be uh, alligator, possibly. Maybe a jaguar, something. Ooh. You aren't really sure. The bones are scattered. <clears throat> They're what? Scattered about as if uh, uh, marauders tore them apart, possibly lions tigers or bears, bears? oh my Poss possibly a my. four four party member of murder hobos one wearing ruby slippers it's hard <laughs> to say that's all they did folks they is went it, to oz and started killing people is it that's just it. crocodiles 
Uh, now there's just a mixture of bones in there. I will take uh, medicine checks from all four of you. Oh. <laughs> um, that's a 24. Nice. Uh, 14. 21. 19. Uh, everybody but Crow uh, seems to recognize that at least three different animals' bones are present here. One would be the elusive water buffalo, which is rare uh, to uh, the Murga people, at least. Uh, then there's a crocodile, and then there's also some other critter. You aren't really sure what it is. One question. We, we left the same day? Mm -hmm. Day two. After our battle? Yep. Okay, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Sure. As you do so, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of why I thought of doing that right at that moment in time. Wow, six. My bonus fills me up. So, <laughs> uh, My initiative is now 17. Uh, 16. 14. Uh, everybody but Krendor gets to react first. Uh, screams of war cries are heard and colorful frog creatures emerge from the river and from the foliage on the side. Uh, these guys are... Oh, whipping out my shield. These guys are... All right, let's keep froggy. <laughs> Krendor... You bastards! Let's see, Krendor, yours is... Three, blue. Uh, blue for crow. Blue for cup and green for coda. So uh, you guys start. Uh, they look like bipedal frog creatures, and they are armed with daggers. Gross. Uh, one on each of you. There are more on Crendor's father and the other members of the group. Uh, let's start with the 17. That's Brother Cup. Uh, as you feel the healing Brother wave Cup. of your deity pour over your body, you think, fuck, now I gotta kill something. <laughs> I think, fuck, now I have to smash that bitch with my mace. Oh, uh, that is a 16 to, or wait, no, that's a 20 to hit, and uh, 7 bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. Uh, 16, Crow. Uh, I am going to aim for the beady black eyes. So. Yeah. Ooh, maybe not with that score. <laughs> uh, 12. 12 hits. Okay. 12 uh, is your magic number. Okay. Uh, right. eight, po eight points of damage. Good enough. 14, Coda. Uh, Kota will swing with his shield in one arm, Warhammer in the other, goes to swing. That's a 20 to hit. Easily. And he does maximum, nice, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. You as he... crush the skull. And the That's frog right. creature gets X's in its eyes. Uh, three frog creatures are alive that we give a shit about. First one is on Crendor. That is uh, 12 plus 4, 16 hit you? Yeah. Uh, Crow, 15 plus 4, that's 19. Uh, 19 hits, yes. Cup, 13 plus 4, 17. That's hit. Okay, all three of you take a hit. Uh, you're going to roll con saves and you're going to take two hit points of damage nat 20 on the con save okay plus two 22 15 okay uh what a waste of uh, 20. 15 on the con all of you take two more hit points of damage because you saved for half round two begins as round two begins you hear the scream of one of the members of the vax and it didn't sound good it was not crendor so starting with a brother cup you notice that coda has already mercilessly destroyed 
his frog and is probably ripping its head off to shit down its neck in a solidarity move. So you're up, Cub. Up, I'm going to smash that fucker's face in with my mace. Nice. Nat 20! And, and dead. give me another D, probably, but that's uh, 10, 12 points of bludgeoning. Smash! Uh, you also what, what, Dave, where? Oh. splatter its head unmercifully. Crow, you're up. You and Where's your war god now? <laughs> Boy. Boy. Easy and cut. At, Shit. And at that moment, the war god arrived. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, hurricane hit the Delta. Say, and your goddess said, uh, no. <laughs> your goddess uh, made its head explode with her ugliness. Nice. <laughs> Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, 16 to hit. Hits? Uh, uh, 11 points of damage. Dead. Okay. Uh, only one left, or I'm sorry, uh, Coda, uh, you still get to go before I do. Oh, thank God. Um, how many, uh, there's only one left? There's one on Crendor, there are three others in the, the mix. Being I will go out. after the, uh, are the, and the other three that are in the mix, they're still alive since the other guys are screaming, I'm guessing. I'll go, uh, deal with the ones in the mix. Sure. All right. Uh, oh, that's a, yep, that's a. 26 to hit. Yep. And uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. Still alive. Uh, da, 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 da. On Crendor. Seven plus four, 11. No. Okay. Uh, 15. And five. Uh, this round wasn't so good for them. Uh, they appear to have not hit anybody. Nice cat ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brother Cup, you are up. Uh, uh, Crendor hasn't somebody... gone. Who oh, yeah, Crendor did. Crendor didn't go. I didn't get to oh, go. I'm, I'm, that's right. I'm sorry. Crendor, you're up. I rolled a 13. That hits. Uh... Great axe. Oh, I'll see. One, eight, twelve plus three. All right, cat. We're still broadcasting, right? Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> it sits sure on the keyboard. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Boy, damage. look, it's a jaguar. <laughs> An orange one. Still alive. Uh, now, brother. You know about them ginger jaguars? They're there pitches. are. Three left, one on Crendor, two on Vax. Um, make that bitch on Crendor do a deck save. Fifteen plus two, seventeen. Nothing happens. Wow, that was stunning. Crow, you're up. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm going to try to sharpshoot one, so I'm going to take a five-point penalty to hit. To okay. add Add 10 points to the damage. Okay. Which one are you going after? Uh, the one on, well, probably not with what I just rolled. With the minus uh, five, it's a nine, so. Nope. Okay. I was going for the one on Crandor. She still had one on her? Yep. Bloop. Yep. Into the river. Coda, you're up. You are in the middle of uh, a fight with another one that you have damaged for nine. Okay. Uh, let's say 14 hits. Hits. And... Same one you were going for? Yeah. Okay. Eight points of bludgeoning damage. That is good enough to finish it. There are two left. Crendor and the other one. Crendor. Cheskin loves a warhammer. 16 <laughs> plus four is a dirty 20. And 19 plus four for the other one. Uh... Crendor, give me a constitution save. Take two hit points. Seven. <laughs> uh, take three additional hit points. Uh, and you had a blue on you. 
you are just screaming gibberish. Uh, right. Your associate Vax member, who was just struck, dives into the mud and starts swirling around like a <laughs> pig. Uh, new round, probably final round, Brother Cup. This uh, guy's fucking step, weird. Can I step to one? Sure. You can step, step. to Crandor's or the other one. Let me step to the other one. And give somebody else some room to work over there. That would be my Lou. <laughs> How about this mace to your face? Skip. Uh, it's a 17 to hit Skip. and <laughs> eight points true. of bludgeoning damage. Okay, that one is uninjured until now. Malou is down eight hit points. Crow, Skip. you're up. Okay. Uh, gonna short bow attack with the natural one. <laughs> Are, you were aiming for Crendors again, I assume? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be Crendor. <laughs> Bill's uh, character, Crendor. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Two. Tulu steps out of the way and allows you to hit Krendor right in the chest. Oh, no. Uh, uh, two points of damage. Oh, fuck. You didn't try and sharpshoot that one? No. <laughs> uh, Koda, you are closest to the one that Brother Cup just hit. Or you can throw something at the one that Krendor is currently fighting or you can attack Crow, who is also fighting Crendor at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> so many choices. Uh, I'll go after the one I've been hitting. I'll just focus Crow, on the one I got. Crow's like, sorry. <laughs> They're right, wily. So that's, <laughs> uh, that's a 25 to hit. Or eight points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, along with the other eight that Cup did, that puts it out. Oh, Only <laughs> Only one left, Crendor, and it's on you, and you cannot stop screaming. You will be attacking at disadvantage. Uh, that is a 9 plus 4 is 13. Does that get you? No. Okay, at a disadvantage, your attack. Come on, Crendor. Final round, I <laughs> hope. Brother Cup, you're up. There's only one oh, left, and it's on Crendor, who is shouting gibberish at the top of her lungs. At your feet and at the feet of Coda is another guy wobbling around in the mud like a pig. Well, he's not unconscious. So, um, yeah, it's a little far for me to go after this dude on Crendor, so maybe I should just um, shoot Sacred Coda. Flame. DC, uh, DC 13 deck safe. Oh, that's a six on the roll. I don't think I have... Uh, and that's an that. eight points of radiant damage. Nice. Uh, it's the first time it's been hit. <laughs> Crow, uh, you're going to aim for Crendor. You're going to shoot the thing. You want to shoot... Cup. Finish I'm, gonna, uh, I, I, I'm not going to take Finish any Crendor. chances. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna it's, use it, my movement and engage with a short sword. Shoot Crendor, then shoot the other two Vax. Eh, write him off as a loss. <laughs> right. Uh, twenty-two to hit with the the short sword. Yep. I will give you uh, sneak attack damage on that one because the Grum oh. thought you were with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought we Red? were friends. <laughs> uh, uh, initial damage is 12. Sneak attack damage is only one point. <laughs> yeah, the 12. Grung misunderstood the, the term engaged. <laughs> uh, Krendor, good news. Uh, you are now stopped. You have stopped yelling, and Crow did not attack you this round. Mm -hmm. So the Grung is dead. Uh, also, you notice the guy, ro the backs rolling around in the mud, gets up and is completely puzzled. Crendor, you have no idea that you had volume issues uh, and everybody is looking at you quizzically. Your father asks you what the hell you were yelling about. Yeah, that was weird. Just screaming? Uh, it was just this indescribable pain. I have no idea. Maybe it was your god at work telling you, you know, maybe you shouldn't deal with some shit. Or maybe help out now. Maybe it was your goddess weakening. Speaking the of that, it, it could have been. I don't know how she works. I'm not a god. I'm a guy. I will. Uh, I will take our cannon checks from all of you if you know to see if you know what these things are. 
Uh, Crow rolls a 13. Minus one is... And I tie you. That's 13. A, 15. That's a, that's a three. They're frogs. Nope. Uh, Big fucking correct. frogs. They are frogs. Would you like to eat any of them? Fuck no. Fuck no. They they look weird. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will take my dagger and like Never peel off. Never eat frogs that are that brightly. Covered. Peel They're off a leg. Nice. Peel off a leg because I saw them tripping balls. So I'm thinking in my back of my mind, maybe I want to trip balls later. <laughs> so I'll just save it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how you milk the glands on the toads. Maybe it works the same way. Say, no, 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 cup. We cut don't off know their how balls. that. Works. <laughs> Please, cup. Regale us on milking frogs. No, no, toads. Coda, he was just trying to look at your ass for leeches just yesterday, and and shot you in the ass. So, yeah. What are you guys Catholic? Is that what this really? <laughs> wow, it's a priesthood. Just skin per- Holy Saturday, I dropped it off. Chiskin provides. <laughs> he did. <laughs> uh, Chiskin it's... provides. Chiskin provides. No, no one knows what happens when the lights go out in the temple. Uh, Crendor Sue's father. Well, okay, no one knows who happens. We need to pull back and perhaps fortify the village. I don't think these are the only ones. Maybe we should keep checking. Pull I mean, back. we can keep going a little further. It's not that far. How far is it? It's mid afternoon, so you could probably go another hour. Go out another hour and then go back. Okay, well I'm down half. We could go hit back points, up the trail. So... I I break out some bandages and try to retrieve the arrow from Grendor. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, she'll, she'll retrieve the arrow for you. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll walk over to Crendor and uh, Crindle. I'm gonna yes. put my hand on her. Uh, put my hand on her shoulder and cast Cure Wounds. Uh, it's a cure chest wound. <laughs> I don't. I just put it on his on his shoulder. I'm not. I'm not the lecherous guy. He goes, all right, you know, is that? <laughs> uh, you get seven hit points back. Awesome. I say, thank you. I apologize for my comments about your god. I have been in turmoil. It's all right. Everybody's shitty from time to time. <laughs> Especially uh, you people that don't you have raw fish. <laughs> Mostly. Yeah, don't walk on dry <laughs> land. Uh, you guys go about an hour. Everybody give me a perception check. 18. Uh, net 20 for Crow. 15. Seven. I'm still thrilled with the fact that she complimented us. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, no shit. <laughs> Coda, Coda doesn't see it. The other three and the other two Vax see it. Tendrils of smoke off in the distance. Which way? Ahead of you. Uh, but eh, a couple miles away. Another 20 minutes. Uh, her father will point out that another 20 minutes isn't going to make any difference whatsoever. He is going to return and begin to formulate a plan to protect the village. If you guys wish to go, go ahead. But he and the other Vax will not attend. Fuckers. <laughs> I will, I'm going to go check it out. Uh-huh. This is why your God crap. left you. <laughs> really? Uh, this you retreating go thing there. keeps coming up. I'm not sure. Crandor, your father will tell you, well, not tell, he will order you to return to the village to go ahead and create a uh, line of defense because he feels that this is not going to work out. Crow, Cup, and Coda, you go another 20 minutes, and uh-huh. while you are closer to the tendrils of smoke, uh, it's going to take a, at least another hour, uh, and light is starting to fail. But mm-hmm. the good news is, you guys are off by yourself. We have just learned how to uh, make fire well, from make wet wood, fire. so we should be okay. Sure. You know what? We have enough bamboo, we could probably even make a wall. Who wants to D12 against me to see if it's going to rain? Oh. I will. Let's do this. God, it's not me this time. Nine. Four. Nope. Uh, cloudless skies. 
So you guys, ah. can, you guys can continue forward or return to the village. Um, we continue forward. We're we'll camping continue forward. Yeah. yeah, let's keep going. Cool. Uh, you guys continue forward. Uh, light begins to fade from the sky. Uh, Krendor, you and the others arrive. You inform the elders that there's a problem out there uh, and uh, we need to post guards. As uh, the other three continue to head along, roll initiative. Yes. Rolling initiative. Roll to 10. 16. 18. Who had the 18? I had the 18. Cup. And Cup. 16. Oh, uh, I did. I have it. 18. You guys, you guys notice behind you, there's a noise and large growths of spiky fibers hem you in along the side of the river and two shouts are heard uh, as two more larger frogs uh, exit and face off. One will face off with five, Coda, and the other three, Cup. Uh, initiative, 18, mm. Cup, you're first. I'm 18 and a mace. Let's do it. Wait, where's my murder hobo die? Oh, that is a 16 to hit and eight points of bludgeoning damage if 16 hits. Uh, Thank you, it, murder hobo dice. It does. Uh, next up, 16, Coda. It's time to hit these fuckers in the eye. Ah, that's a 21. Yep. And then... Ooh, nice. 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Very nice. Both are still alive. Crow, do you want to go after cups or codas? Uh, codas. Okay. Uh, short sir, sword and an offhand. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, first, uh, first strike, 21 to hit. Yep. Uh, let's see. That is 10 points of damage, the offhand to hit. Uh, one. Uh, one. Uh, that hits Coda. <laughs> oh, sorry, Coda. Fuck. Ah. It was just a dagger. <laughs> Dust. Uh, let's see. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me get my D4. <laughs> Pieces. Only a D4. Two. In the Jeez. Two. All the damage I've taken is from my own people. Yep, well, and yet he still has that sunny disposition. I mean, ear, ear people are pretty stupid. It happens. Know. It happens. Get excited! You know, I've fired that crossbow since. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, Your ass looked just like a crocodile. I swear. <laughs> all, all three of you, give me a. He is a bit leathery. Wisdom save. Wisdom save. Yep. Right on. Okay. Um. Ooh. Okay. Uh, but, uh, 22. 13. Uh, 16. Uh, none of you get caught in a ring of spikes uh, that go in between you and your opponents. Uh, up along the ridge line, however, there are three archers. Oh, crap. They are going to shoot at each one of you. Uh, oh. You are in a ring of spikes. So next round, if you want to do melee, it's going to hurt. So Crow, whoo, that one. Uh, that guy's bowstring is gone. Cup, uh, 19, not so much, Cub. And Kodo, two. <laughs> so the only one is Cup. Cup, I'm going to need a constitution saving throw. <laughs> That's all right. Cup's good at this. You take five. Um, that's a 19. Uh, you notice as you yank out the arrow that there is a slimy toxin on the tip. This ends the round as the two big frogs. I took five. Yep. Are not willing to go ahead and cross into the spiked growth. I say Coda, 
Thump. <laughs> oh no. Message for you, sir. As Cup goes down. Fuck a doodle do. New round, uh, Brother Cup. First okay. death save. <laughs> Eesh. Nat 20. You are at one hit point. <laughs> I'm all yeah. right. I'm all right. Really? <laughs> Help! 16, Coda. So there are spikes, and then those guys, then the guys. So I got to go through the spikes to get to them. Yep, and you can already tell it's going to hurt. Mm. Mm. Well, I will... Okay, I will step in front of the spikes, and instead of going through the spikes, I will cast Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah. Um, so a wave of thunder sports reach out for you. Each creature in a 15-foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 15 and 13. 16. Damn. And it's what not. Is it? 13 is my spell oh. DC. It's uh, not high. They brace themselves for impact. How much damage does that thing do to the spike growth? Um, six, eight, 14 points of thunder damage. There's a hole. There'd be a hole there. Got it. Crow, and oh. now pretty much they all heard and everyone hears the thunderous boom of a uh, thunder, a thunder clap. He brings the thunder from down under. There he goes. Uh, oh, yeah. Crow, you're up. Uh, Crow's going to take the penalty and he's going to try to sharpshoot the one that broke its bowstring. <laughs> He's going to try. There are spells for the day. <laughs> yep. Ooh, Got cantrips. Okay. Uh, okay. 17. 12 to hit? Nope. That 13 to hit him. Oh, okay. Uh, swing and a miss. With the holes, though, the wildings can do this. However, meanwhile, back at camp, uh, Frendor... <laughs> Uh, you are finishing up your touches on the fortification roll initiative. Jesus, another one. Um, That's two twenties, two ones. Fifteen. You are up first as two grung, those little poisonous frog fuckers, uh, leap out. You can hear screams throughout the town. Uh, currently, the village is under attack. So, you're up first, Krendor. Um, these are the smaller ones, so these are the AC-12. Oh, and what are they? Uh, purple and a green. Ooh. Okay, so I'll use my hand axe if I can hit it. Yep. Twelve. Yep, that hits. And nine. Uh, it's hurt. Uh, those two will attack you. Jesus, an eight and a thirteen, seventeen get you. Yes. Uh, give me a con save. Uh, take two hit points of damage and you are not going to go ape shit again. Back back at the Grundlings. Uh, the Wildlings will charge into the hole, trying to seal the breach. They will go after Cup and Coda. Uh, on Cup, uh, that is a three plus five, eight. On not Coda, uh, Coda, that's an 18 plus 5, so that's going to hurt. Give me a con save again. Is this a poison? Uh, yes, contact poison. <laughs> double ones. 19 for my con save. Two hit points with double ones on the D4. Uh, you guys, Cup, you have one fucking hit point right now. Um, I know. When that one hit me, uh -huh. I'm going to... When that one hit me, for the two points of damage, I'm going to use my uh, 
clerical power. Uh, what is it called? Polish Rebuke? Uh, it's kind of like that. It's called the do 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 do. Yeah, since I'm a Tempest cleric, it is called the Wrath of the Storm. Since he hit me, he takes 2d8 lightning damage. Uh, half if he saves. <laughs> what do you roll? Oh, I haven't rolled yet. Oh, he so DC 13. My uh, third roll. A little one. Nice. <laughs> All right, so he takes eight plus three, 11 points of lightning damage when he hit me. Okay, that's number two. He is still alive, although charred. Nice. Uh, it's Cup's turn. Yes, uh, Cup is up. Up Cup. Mace to the face! Yeah! 19! Uh, and that's 10, 12 points of bludgeoning damage. That hurts. Doesn't kill him. <laughs> Doesn't uh, kill him. Coda, you're up. All right. Oh, um, God. That's a 17 to hit. Nope. And he takes nine points of bludgeoning damage uh, split with the him. old Warhammer. Uh, you've crushed his skull and splattered his uh, amphibian brain all over the place. One well, more for Cheskin. Uh, Crow, <laughs> you're up. Okay. Wesley. Uh, the next one coming through, I'm going to attack with a short sword. There's only two, and one of them's dead. Okay. Uh, the three on the ridge uh, are gone. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, no. 16 to hit this guy. Oh, Thanks. geez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I make an offhand attack? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 22 to hit with the offhand. Yep. Nice. And uh, that is six points of slashing damage. Six points. Uh oh. That's going to piss him off. Uh, <laughs> back to town. Crendor, you got two on you. You're up. Crendor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I know this game is riveting. <laughs> Crendor not here right now. Leave message after beep. I'm not used to that name. Eleven. Damage or attack? Attack. Ah, fall shy because you need a 12. Those two will attack you. Uh, seven and a nine. Uh, no. So, uh, back there, uh, there's one left. Crow, Cup, or Coda. Deuce, that's you, uh, Crow. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 5. That'll hit. <laughs> uh, give me your con save. Okay. Con! Uh, uh, 8. Oh, uh, no. Eight, eight, 8 ain't gonna work. <laughs> okay. You're gonna take uh, 6 hit points of damage. Oh. And uh, I didn't roll for it. It is going to be a uh, Green, you are locked into place. Uh, probably last round. Cup. Smash its head with mace. Sure. No, not one. Oh, son of a bitch! Here wow. it goes. <laughs> he Eight six. points of bludgeoning damage. D six. One two. Crow three four. Cup five oh, six. Sure. Coda. Uh, one. Crow finally gets his blood stripes. <laughs> Mostly because he's frozen in time. I couldn't move. <laughs> Oops. Never saw it coming. Uh, uh, no. Uh, it, was an eight point blood, it was eight points, so cut it in half and make it four. Sorry, the damage was maxed there, uh, uh, Crow. I'm at, I'm you're, at now you're missing a tooth. I'm at you're, zip. I'm out. Uh, I'm at zero. <laughs> you are definitely missing a fucking tooth. <laughs> uh, Coda, uh, apparently cop is working for the other side. 
Up. Fuck. Um, I'll hit this thing. Hopefully maybe, maybe not. Okay. That's a 20. Uh, are, are you aiming for cup? Or I'm grog? aiming for the, uh, grog. the frog. Grog. Okay. I might grog. do more damage to the party. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, nice. Uh, so that's six, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, that yep, that definitely puts it out. Oi. I cast spare the dying on him. Crow I'm on the on the frog I'm on crow <laughs> on the frog. <laughs> crow is at zero hit points but stable. Okay, good. good. Cups at one. The three on I'm the out bridge of spells have disappeared. <laughs> we need night, a long rest. And night is falling. <laughs> We need a real long rest. <laughs> oh, jeez. You got to get your ass back to safety. Minimum of a short rest. All right. I'm going to pick up Crow. Oh. Let's go hide. And I will carry Crow and we'll try and get to a safe space. Fortunately, I'm a small guy. So, <laughs> a place we can hide for an hour. I'm incredibly strong. Uh, do you want to work see the forge? <laughs> work the forge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that workout will help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll just swing yeah. around like a hammer. <laughs> I'm out you of spells. Oh, I'm, sa- I'm stable now. <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, so do you want to try and find a cave, or do you want to try and head back through the dense jungle? You can hear the war cries of the frogs, and you know that at least three of them escaped. Let's head through the jungle. Let's head through the. Well, let's through let's through head straight back. Trouble. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. If people are in trouble. We got to go. Yeah. Who wants to d twelve against me for this little trick? I'm doing it. No. Oh. Eleven. Three. You will make it back after dark. Crendor, you're up. You still have two assailants. Screams from both sides of the river indicate your town is under attack. Don't you die on me, Crow. 20. <laughs> damage, damage modifier, although I don't think you'll need it because you're swinging a great ass. Uh, yeah, 1d12 plus 3. Thank it's you. I'm officially naming my Warhammer Ilkabong. <laughs> <laughs> 12. Uh, did you hit the one that you wounded or a new one? A new one. Dead. Uh, roll d12 against me. And he's gonna stay in the fight. Fuck you. Uh, fuck me. That's a three. Uh, new <coughs> round. Crendor, you're up. Eight. Not good enough. Fourth nat one. Uh, that mean it I know itself? how you feel. Uh, it just lost its dagger. It is going to take off running unless you kill it this moment. You're up. Where's my nat 20s, baby? I stole them. Maybe I need... 15. Big red. 15 hits him. Can you kill him, though? Uh... D12 plus what? Three. Six. Dead. That puts me down by 15. Uh, (laughs) The sounds of battle seem to be subsiding within Toad Town. Uh, Crendor, give me a percentage roll. And uh, two. Crow, give me a percentage roll. 20. Make the unconscious guy roll percentile. Uh, 81. <laughs> uh, 20% of the Vax have succumbed to injuries. 81% of the villagers. Wow. <laughs> have, you know what? I'm going to reverse it. Hey. 19%. Well, well, that's true. <laughs> Fuck you guys. 81%. <laughs> <laughs> so much more tragic. <laughs> Dead. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wait, well, hey, this will give you a reason to go out on your own and become famous fucking adventurer. We've been, been octadecimated. 
all your well, family is dead. Wow, and I thought rolling high was a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, the nineteen percent left, nineteen percent left over is us and probably one other person. <laughs> it's probably a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, yeah. all right. You stay with the weirdos over here. We're gonna run off an adventure. Bye. Yeah, you you stay with the the, the vex. I, I think there were fifty uh, Murga people in there, so eighty one percent of them, which is what uh, forty two. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. That, that leaves that leaves the three of us and five other people. Correct. Oh my uh, gosh. Brother Cub the Murga or are no Coda. More. Uh, who wants to d12 against me to see if the uh, elder shaman? I got you. I need uh, rolling shit right now. <laughs> oh, that's ran off. Yeah, whose gods abandoned him now, bitches? That's a twelve. Uh, Sounds like Cheskin needs to take up war godding. Let's go. Your, your shaman has survived. Uh, about midnight, the moon is full. No lycanthropy, so you're lucky there. You three bobble in with an unconscious crow to find your village has been decimated. <laughs> and the shaman wants over. to know where the fuck you guys were. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As we carry in crow bloody, I'm barely even alive, limping. Yeah. Um, we ran into the same problem. Uh, oh, uh, Crendor, D12 against me. Let's see if your old man survived. Two. Eight. No, you're he the did not. The <laughs> That's okay. He was an asshole. <laughs> uh, family. So, boys and girls, <laughs> it appears as though Crendor, Crendor, do you want to fill them in uh, what happened during their absence? Yes, of course absence of malice uh you guys learned that your community has been literally decimated uh i think it was what every 10th man though it's been decimated eight times over you wow. uh your place is no more uh the good news is this will give you a reason to pack your shit and leave uh, because i'll get my cart look okay, so this is just Cheskin giving us a reba a difference of life, a way to change ourselves. Let's now, get out. Now, the question I have is, what are you going to do with Crow? <laughs> and are you going to spend the night in the village uh, to try and regain hit points? Yeah, we'll try and find a, uh, a uh, I guess now an empty hut uh, that is not completely decimated and full of dead bodies. <laughs> I'm still not going over there. They're crazy. Really? Thought dry floors. Twenty percent crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, there are not... far more of them than there are of us now. Yeah, it doesn't. I, I wasn't planning yeah. on battling them. Yeah, they, they only lost about four people. They have dry floors because, of course, as we all know, their god is more powerful than your god. Clearly. Yeah, obviously. Um, I mean, that so is, we could always is... hold up at my place and put the cart in front of the door so that. There's an extra he poop cart. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a multi-use so, cart. I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna put Crow in my hut, and uh, I'll sleep on the. Uh, I'll put Crow in my hut, and I'll sleep on a chair in there. I'll park my cart <laughs> by his hut and sleep in my cart. <laughs> Cup goes out with his cart. Bring out your dad. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, swept it out. It's nice and clean. So pretty much everybody, yeah. Crendor, uh, it's up to you. You are now the spokesperson for the Vax tribe. Uh, would you like to offer the Murga survivors uh, spots in your domicile? Of course. Uh, Crow, or Crow, you don't count. You're unconscious. Yeah, I'm unconscious. Brother Cup and Coda. Uh, Crendor has offered you the safety of the Beehive Fork uh, oh. if, if you would like it. Uh, I'll take for the dry night, floors. This is going to be probably my last night here, so 
I'll stay in my home for at least one more evening. Okay. Cut. I've got all my stuff in my cart already. I'll go to the beehive. <laughs> These dry floors are really awesome. <laughs> uh, because you are a visitor. Of yours and your fancy living. <laughs> <laughs> I picture in the clampets. <laughs> exactly. So oh, they've got uh, something called a bath. I'm gonna try it. They they do have a, a water pump, so you know. You can wash all the blood or in your case, the shame of shooting all of your colleagues. <laughs> uh, well shooting okay. them with a the crossbow was bad enough. I hit bloody crow with a mace. Yeah, Kobe of course he went since... down. He doesn't know that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. He doesn't. Man, those frogs really fucked you up, dude. Yeah. Uh, Coda, you uh, you're the one staying in your own hut. Uh, D twelve. Okay. Yeah. Ten. Four. Uh, while you do hear sounds of frogs, uh, give me an insight check. Fifteen. Don't worry. It's just regular uh, all the frogs. You, you hear them, but they're quite far away, so you do not feel as though uh, the village will be attacked again. Uh, as you guys wandered in, you noticed that there was a lot of death on the Grung side as well, uh, but nowhere near the, the, the Murga, decimation. The Murga of when will this senseless killing end? Uh, and you know what? The funny thing is, I wasn't really sure how I would end this. You guys have already provided me with the solution on the B side of uh, the calamity <laughs> campaign. Uh, I did not anticipate. The well, at least now this this makes me want makes my cat <laughs> want to push in a certain direction now. <laughs> So, uh, yes, this will bring you to level two, everybody, so your characters can advance. Uh, one of the members of the Murga tribe uh, may or may not venture forth with you. That would be Scott. In the event that one of you three cannot make it for another one, we will move these characters up uh, to the play side. Uh, we are ending early. Um uh, just because of the way it happened. Uh, yeah, so, Kyle. <laughs> uh, Jesse, what'd you think? That was it was good. I like the uh, I like the the change of pace. Um, the uh, and living in the uh, shithole that was fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now see, we're, I, I'm trying to expand the reach of calamity. So at some point in yeah. time, your main characters may or may not run into yourselves so, mm. so yeah oh, maybe we should go check out that place called ba i've heard yeah. it's great <laughs> you they can't throw. even you can't even spell ba <laughs> uh, my first last name rob what you think <laughs> it was awesome Very um, good. smash with mace is okay but uh maybe not crow next time i don't know maybe <laughs> Maybe nice I'll hit Scott in the ass next time. Nice. Uh, David, what'd you think? Maybe. I, I enjoyed it up until ro rolling that 81 percentile. <laughs> Maybe Crow will die overnight and you can become the you can become the crow the other crow you were yeah, thinking. Yeah, that's that's crow. Crow. yeah that'd there be you crow. go. There we go. That's wow. what happens. Dude, there's it was poison. On. Because he never dies after that. <laughs> he just keeps coming back. Nice. <laughs> uh like a one shot. Carrie, I'm, st I'm still poisoned, right? Or something too? Or at this no, point? No, that'll wear off. No, the poison was uh, the grung has uh, you scream incessantly, you have to roll around in mud, and you are frozen in place. Those are the three choices with okay. the green, the blue, and the purple. Okay. So. And spare the dying stabilizes you, so. Okay. And you're still not moving, so. You know. and I'm, yeah. Six and one half does the other. Well, we'll see how it plays out during the night. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. It's not dead yet. Carrie, what you think? <laughs> Miss it was good. Pillow. Just nice to yeah. fill in and <laughs> fuck with other people. Yeah. It, it, it was he nice went, to... He goes, I want to see the undead crow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I said, I want to see the real crow. <laughs> now, now, Just pull him into the water a little longer. Cheskin demands it. Did anyone catch the interlacing on this one? Uh, 
No, I might have missed it. So. Slavers. I think, yeah, slavers. I think I did, yeah, the slavers there we portion. Go. Okay. Yeah, it was yeah. the slavers. I was like, I think that's where. I was like, yeah. oh, that's got to be the ones who took our people in the bar. Yeah. Uh, possibly. There, there, there you go. Just tying it all together. Uh, loose ends. Folks, uh, we ended early, uh, but that is that is sometimes a plus. I thought uh, these guys did a fantastic job considering they don't reside on dry flooring, uh, which is <laughs> always a problem. Maybe we see Undead Crow later. Uh, yeah. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit with us about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap or one of these cool official shirts, uh, they're on the shop somewhere. Uh, go ahead. Uh, don't forget to Pirate Dog Dice if you want custom dice uh, that will probably kill fucking first levels. And if your <laughs> game stinks like Crow's body has <laughs> some adventure sense uh, by oddfishgames.com. They also make the shine system. So if you want to learn how to write better than me, uh, try out the shine system. It's not bad. We we had a whole show dedicated to that. So check our archives. We've got archives, folks. Check that out. Uh, tomorrow we've got the Margu campaign. Those poor bastards are still bastards. stuck in the uh, uh, fantasy truck stop and one of them's naked one of them's tied up and the other <laughs> the other four have no idea what the hell's going on so it should be a real hoot maybe they get to eat zonky tomorrow uh once again if you're interested in being on the talk show or on a one shot next saturday for example m hobo inc twitter or gmail hit us up we will get you on that show for all of us here at murder hobo inc thank you for joining us we hope you had a good time uh say good night gracie Good night, Gracie. Gracie. Uh. And you're <laughs> muted. And.